Hi everyone. So in this video, we will talk about another container that is called multi-set. So multi-set is variation of set and as the name suggests, it is set like container. So now we will see the important points regarding multi-set which will help you in interviews and improve your coding skill. So let's see. So the important point for the multi-set are as follows. So first point is it can store multiple elements that have same value. As we see in set, we can't store duplicate element in the set. But in multi-set, we can store the duplicate element also. So second point is in multi-set, elements are sorted according to internal comparison object. And if elements are integer or string, they can sort it by default in ascending order. So third point is values once inserted can't be modified. This is the same property as we see in set. Once we insert any value in the set or multiset, we can't modify it. First, we have to remove the element and then we can insert it. So the fourth point is it is an associative container means elements are referred by their values, not by the index. And the last point is Underlying implementation is based on BST that is binary search tree to implement the multi-set. Now we see the code so that how we can implement multi-set. Okay, so let's start the code. First include the header file hash include set. This header file contains both set as well as multi-set. Now take the input as an integer n, int n, c in n. Now make an array of size n, int arr of size n. Now traverse a loop from i equals to 0 to i equals to n and put the n elements in array for int i equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus c in arr of i now declare multiset so multiset then data type that is int and then name of the multiset that is m now put these array element into the m so from arr to arr plus n now what we will do we will print these elements so first make for each loop for auto x colon name of the multiset that is m c out x and for changing the line and l let's see the output Some matter. Oh, multi set. Let's compile it. Semicolon. Yeah, compile. Let's take six. Integer in array. Let's say 10, 20, 30, 10, 50, 30. Now see the output. So the output will be 10, 10, 20, 30, 30, 50. So the output will be in sorted form. Now some other operation we will also perform. Let's say we will insert element in multi set. For this, m dot insert 
let's say we insert 50 also we will erase some elements m dot erase 10 let's compile it let's say we take 5 integer and 20 30 50 and 10 let's see the output so the output will be 20 30 50 and 50 so 50 will be inserted and 10 will be erased if we wanna erase only first occurrence of 10 so we have to call here the find function so m dot find and let's say 10 so it will delete only first occurrence of 10 let's compile it let's take 5 elements 10 20 30 50 and 10 so the output will be 10 20 30 50 50 50 will be inserted and the first occurrence of 10 will be erased we also count that how much time an element will occur in multi set for this first erase it we use m dot count and let's say 10 and put it into the output c out m dot com 10 and then change the line let's see the output okay take let's say 6 integers 10 20 30 10 60 and 20 so let's see the output so 10 will occur two times and the shorter form will be 10 10 20 20 30 60 let's say we see the difference between the outputs of set and multi set taking same inputs first call for multi set let's take 6 integers 10 20 30 10 20 30 so output will be 10 10 20 20 30 30 for the multi set now for same input for the set just remove the multi now run this code take 6 inputs same 10 20 30 10 20 30 now see the output so it will give only 10 20 30 so duplicate elements will be removed from the set so that's all for the guys today hope you enjoy stay tuned thank you